What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brad. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing a little unboxing of a care package of a ton of baits that Z-Man Fishing Products sent me. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you everything that's in it. So check it out. So here's the box. Big old box. Z-Man right on the front. Already opened it. I know what's in it already, but we're going to get into it. So the first thing, when I first opened the box, was this awesome Z-Man Blocks bait box. And this thing's really cool. It has a pouch here on the back, a zipper on the top, and a little pouch here. So you put stuff, your cutters and everything. Right now I have the uh, Rattlesnaker in here, the new Rattlesnaker. These are uh, replacement cartridges for it. And this thing holds, as you can see right here, this thing holds 35 Z-Man soft plastic packages. So I get every package that I own of Z-Man is sitting in here. And this thing's cool because there's two dividers in here, one right here, one right here. They're all adjustable. So if you want to adjust it back and forth, there's little Velcro spots all the way on the front, all the way on the back. And I'll show you. This little divider comes out and it just goes right in as easy as it comes out. So, there we go. That was the first product. This thing's cool. I've already taken it on the river a few times and it's been awesome. The next thing we got in the box here, the brand new chatter spikes. These things are freaking sweet. I've already been throwing them on my chatter baits and stuff like that. So I got black and blue laminate, green pumpkin, and electric shad. I'm gonna take out one of the black and blue laminate ones and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Pictures do not do these things justice because you see it just like this and it looks just like a regular trailer. But when you actually get it in your hand, it's segmented. When I stretch out, you see how it's segmented right there, right here, and then slightly down there. So that gives it a little bit more action. It looks really good on a chatterbait. This has been one of my favorite trailers so far. I'm glad they made this. I was throwing the razor shad a little bit, but I like this so much better. It just looks awesome. The next thing I got in the box has been a staple for me the last few years, and that is the Turbo Crawls. So the Turbo Crawls, I like to throw on chatterbaits when the river's muddy, or even when the lake's muddy. Um, and uh, Tokyo Rig, it does good good job on Tokyo Rig because it's buoyant, stands straight up and everything. So here's what it looks like. It's connected at the claws by some plastic so if you don't want to use that I usually just take it apart so the appendages are free flowing and uh, that gives it so much awesome swimming action more action when you're in the muddy water on a chatterbait the fish can key it in a little bit better and uh, yeah great little trailer so here's one Z-Man product I never even knew existed it's called their easy tubes and I've always thought about, hey, Z-Man should make a tube. And then I went on their website, I looked, I was like, oh man, they make a tube. I did not know that, I've never seen them. So they're a four inch tube, very, very durable, because elastic, of course. And uh, these, are, uh, I don't know what you call those, appendages, I guess, they're very thin. So they're not gonna break because it's elastic, but they have a ton of action when you throw them in the water and it's just like, you know, Kind of doing that dancing so the biggest gripe i had with tubes was that these things are not durable usually elastec fixes that so i'm going to be throwing these a lot next summer this is going to be a go-to for sure so the next bait here is the scented jerk shads this is a uh, bait that i fell in love with this year throwing it on the chin locks hooks and uh it killed it for me this is probably my top one of my top five baits this year this one is actually the gussie's uh, glimmer blue this is the four inch version. So it's real tiny, but man, it, it, it just looks so good if you put it on a 16th ounce chin, chin locks hook or the new ZWG hooks that they have. And uh, just twitch, twitch, pause, let it sink. Seems like those fish like to hit it on the sink. And yeah, awesome clear water presentation in the summertime. So don't forget that, check those out. So here we got this very famous Ned Rig. And uh, it's the Finesse TRD. I don't gotta say much about these because you guys already know about them probably, but 
Ned Rig. It's awesome. They sent me a ton of colors. So I got Gobi Bryant, Game Changer, Black and Blue, Green Pumpkin, uh, Purple, I think. And yeah, so these Gobi Bryants look really nice. It's like a green back with a blue bottom. And uh, it's kind of translucent. So I'm excited to throw those. So when Z-Man reached out to me and asked me what I would like in my sample box for this next quarter, uh, I told them that I wanted to try the bat wings. And the bat wings are a little trailer for um, micro jigs and stuff like that. I like to throw micro jigs in the summertime and stuff. So always looking for a good trailer for those. I've tried a bunch of different trailers. They're just not durable. So uh, bat wings was recommended to me by Adam Pross. So Adam, if you're watching this, thanks dude. These things look incredible. Here they are right here. And they're attached at the appendages here in the middle again. You can break them apart for more action. Two and three quarter inches, that's gonna be perfect on a uh, micro jig such as the uh, Z-Man Finesse Micro Jig. So this is where it gets interesting because they came out with a bunch of different products for 2024 and I got quite a bit of them here. I'm gonna pull them out here. I'm excited to use these. So what we got here is the Gobius, and it's like their take on a uh, Gobi. These things look good. I'm going to pick a color that I like. So this color right here is called PB&J. Haven't even taken it out of the package yet, but these Gobies look awesome. I'll take it out of the package real quick. Show you guys why not. These things are very detailed down to the fins and everything the eyeballs very cool so if you guys can see that but the fins on the top here the fins on the bottom the dorsal fin where the hook gets hidden the side fins right here it, it's just it's crazy i've never seen a bait like this to this detail this small even the eyeballs protrude out of the head a little bit on the top so it's going to be a cool little bait for the river i think these are three eighths ounce and uh yeah I'm excited to throw these. I think the smallmouth are gonna munch on them. New last year for 2023, they came out with the Hellraiser. So I got two of them. I got white and I got gold. I've already thrown the white. The white has been pretty good on the river so far. I've caught a bunch of fish on it, but I'm glad they sent a gold one. I've never tried gold top water, but I feel like that's gonna be great for like a really bright sunny day when the water's clear eh, or muddy. We'll see. Um, but yeah, the action on these things are incredible and it's very loud. So if you want a bait that kind of resembles a buzz bait and a pencil popper together, look no further because this is a great bait to throw. Another staple, the nest shrooms for your Ned rigs. Can never go wrong with those. These are 10th ounce, both sizes. New for 2024, the Multron LT. LT stands for line through and it's cool because the line goes through the front of the bait and it has like this harness inside of the bait where the line comes through and then out of the uh, slot where the hook sits. You tie the hook in and then you pop it in to the harness. So when you're fighting a fish, the idea of it is the bait is supposed to come apart from the hook while you're fighting the fish. So the fish does not use the weight of the bait to throw the uh, hook while you're fighting the fish. So you, you got the hook connected to the fish with the bait sliding up your line out of the way while you're fighting it. So that's pretty cool. I've actually thrown this a little bit. I haven't caught a fish on it yet, but it looks great. Uh, tail's like a really tight, fast wobble and you can slow retrieve it. You can fast retrieve it. It doesn't blow out. Um, it's gonna get bit eventually, I guarantee it. So the next product we got in our box is the uh, Chatterbait Elite Evo. I got a bunch of different colors here. I got Electric Shad, Black and Blue, my favorite, Green Pumpkin, oh, Black and Blue again, and another great color I've been throwing the uh, Spinnerbait version of, Spot Remover. So, that's cool. I I've heard a lot of good things about these Evos. A lot of people are, uh, comparing it to the jackhammer, but a cheaper version of the jackhammer. They say it starts just as quick and uh, hunts just like a uh, jackhammer, but awesome, awesome little uh, bait. So it has a bait keeper here 
and then a bait keeper here so it's like a double bait keeper and then i think it's a five out hook and the cool thing about these are it's like epoxy painted uh blades so you kind of get your blade hidden yeah man this looks very similar to a jackhammer even the head design so i'm excited to get these out i haven't tried them yet but i guarantee you they'll work every chatterbait i've ever thrown has worked for me so yeah that's pretty cool so one of my favorite products that I got in this whole box that just came out is the Z-Man Rattlesnaker. And this thing is awesome. I've already used it quite a bit because I've been throwing Ned Rigs like crazy. I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it here. So you, you use this to add a little rattle. You can hear them in there. You can use this to add a rattle in your TRDs, your finesse TRDs, any elastic uh, soft plastic bait you want to use. So. It comes with a little uh, pr protection on the tip here. You can take that off before you use it. And then this pops right off. This is the push in tool. This is what you want first. It's the little needle. So you insert it in the bottom of the TRD, just like this. Push it on there good until it's stuck, just like that. The top pops open. That's where you put your uh, rattles. Pour one out. I'll show you guys what the rattle looks like. If you can see it. Really tiny rattle. It's in a glass casing, has two BBs in it. So you take this thing, it's like a teardrop shape. You put the teardrop shape down into the hole right here. And then you take the push tool, stick it in there and push that rattle into your bait. Once you have that done, you take the needle out and you're good to go. That rattle's in there. And it's never coming out until you lose that bait, obviously, but that's cool. I've always wanted a way to have noise with my TRDs when the water's a little dirtier. And they finally came out with some. This is a freaking cool product. You guys need to go check one out. Really recommend this because it's super easy to use and it's awesome. Well, that's it for our video, guys. Comment below what you saw in the unboxing of the Z-Man products that you thought was the coolest product. Um, to me, the Rattlesnakers was my favorite, so let me know what your favorite is. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you guys next week.